we had our VPP steering committee today. One of the things that we're actually uh, working on right now is our recertification for VPP that's coming in January. Anybody else got anything? I I'm gonna go over preparation for this VPP order that's coming up. VPP program is a voluntary protection program. We have a partnership with OSHA as well as with the hourly employees so we can work safely. We are one of the best in our safety program. Only 1% of the nation's industry are in this program. Our VPP committee members have been really working hard trying to get us ready for the VPP audit in August. They've been doing a lot of, of extra stuff that helps keep the plant cleaned up, safe. We are the first foundry in Region 5 to get our VPP star status, so we're really proud of that and we're, we're going to hang on to it. VPP is a cooperative program where OSHA works and partners with industry to help reduce injury and illness rates. McGrain Duncan takes safety at the utmost seriousness. That's why it's one of our McWay Way compass points, safety, right? So we want to make sure that we keep our employees safe from any harm. If they go home the same way they came to work. Our next audit, uh, VPP audit is in January and uh, we've been audited every three years. After this one right here, it'll be every five years. I'm going to do a quick opening and then we're just trying to keep it as short and sweet as we can. Recertifications is what we would call that type of evaluation. Those tend to be shorter because we're really looking at process changes, improvements, because VPP is about continuous improvement. Continuous improvement wise, anytime we do any projects or major uh, capital upgrades, we do include members of the workforce. We want their input and feedback. It really just helps to build the cohesiveness to accomplish the project. Our leadership has you know, gotten behind us. They've given us the tools, the training, a big one. How do you empower people through training? So I make sure that you know, my team have the resources available to them that they can get the training that they need to make the right decisions. This is our first recertification. Our last audit was about five or six OSHA compliance officers and they come out into the, into the facility and basically look for imminent hazards, um, um, housekeeping, the interview guys out there, uh, make sure they are aware and know about lockout tagouts, you know, confined space, chain of command. They also uh, see how we follow through. Now, I feel very fortunate to be able to work with this group of people because they're hardworking, solid the earth people that get stuff done. So I think you're going to see a culture of, of really good people that are working together, and I'm really proud of that. But we have a tagline that describes who we are and what our facility is and what we do. And what is that, folks? Iron, Iron strong. strong. We're Iron Strong. So welcome. Glad to have you here. What an on-site looks like is we do an opening conference where we talk about what the objectives are for the evaluation with the company, and then they typically will present information on what they've their big process improvements or changes they've made over the years since we were there last. The last time that we had our VPP research was in 2018, so I'm just going to briefly go over some of the improvements we've made. Um, and again, we'll show you these on the tour. I'm going to highlight some of them. The presence sensing devices, safety mats, um, and area scanners we put in that, it severely limited the interaction between the operator and the equipment and made it that much safer to work around. And then we will go out and do a site visit, walk through the different areas. And this expansion's called, what's the building name? We will do interviews with employees where we talk to them whether out on the floor. We'll stand back, watch, and then we will ask questions. We'll go down and we can talk to them. Or we pull them into an office and talk to them more in depth about their job, different safety programs, or safety teams that they're involved in. 
Did you write up a uh, more price control plan or anything for that? Yes, so we've got a control plan and I can show you guys that. I love my seeing that. She asked me how I contribute to safety here and how I contribute to the VPP. I told her that my main goal here is to keep my employees safe and if they report a hazard or any kind of upset condition to me that I take care of it immediately and uh, follow up. Finally, we will do a closing conference at the end to talk about our findings. We like to talk to companies about what best practices we will note in the report, any kind of recommendations we may see to help the site also do continuous improvement. It starts at the top and it trickles all the way down, but as long as we continue to perform at the levels that we're doing, we will continuously improve not only customer satisfaction, we'll improve the lives and the retention of all of our employees, and McWayne will thrive.